let me tell you a paradox. So machines have been trying and humans have been trying actually to become more efficient, to push the envelope, to make everything systematic. And one of the greatest things that we have in the human evolution is artificial intelligence, where there are less rules, things are streamlined, and we're just talking about how we can eliminate human judgment. This is a great thing, yet it's a potential crisis. You see, machines are purely able to work on rules, and they only learn from past data, while humans are making judgments based on unfamiliar territory and things that they have learned in the past. Let me take you back in time. So actually, I grew up here. I used to visit my grandparents' house in Jebel Luebde, a few blocks from here, and things were very different. Things were much simpler. There were less cars. There was technology. There was much less of transportation system. Amman had, 40 years ago, about 500,000 people. Today, it's 4.5 million people. Things were much, much simpler. Back then, we used to sit down on the dinner table and actually have a conversation with each other. Today, we actually talk on the phone and use social media and put as many likes as possible. We used to watch TV, and now we streamline it with YouTube and Netflix. We also used to actually listen to radio, and now we streamline it using Spotify and others. At that moment, if you want to think about it, more than 2 billion people are on social media. They're connected, but yet they have less friends to have a dialogue and to have a relationship with. Artificial intelligence is supposed to make us free from the day-to-day -day activity to become more human. So we are actually teaching machines to become more human while we forgot that we need to actually become less of a machine. There is a secret formula for that, a human AI. A human AI is coding plus building a system around artificial intelligence. And the secret formula is having humans and machines work together to have a better outcome. Let's take it a step back again. Why would we want to have machines and artificial intelligence take over? Most people are afraid. They're thinking that when they watch The Terminator, iRobot, The Matrix, the world is doomed with the machines. What we are actually saying is it might. It might. But sadly, only people who are not upskilling themselves will be diminished. Humans are survivors. We have outlasted the Ice Age, beat the dinosaurs, conquered the world, and we continue to do so. We can embrace technology, but utilize it properly, and go back to basics in becoming more humans again. You see, machines are working on rules. Not any human can check all the boxes with rules. So let's take, for example, a bright kid that forgot to enter their zip code, and they're actually applying for a driver's license. They passed all of the right questions, they did everything correctly, but they simply forgot to enter the driver's license. Well, an artificial intelligence will actually count them as they failed. Do we give a second chance for that bright kid that simply forgot to enter their zip code? The answer is no. There is fairness. The artificial intelligence does not differentiate. You either answer all the questions or you don't. You get it all right or you don't. That's a great thing. But this, is, this actually needs human intervention. 
there is a second chance where a second layer to verify the data and humans at that point need to come in and check what they need to do right. The future is now. The future is here. I've been fortunate enough to work for Fortune 500 companies such as HP, Apple, and IBM. Today, I'm actually working for the Abu Dhabi Investment Office, looking at technology partnerships and investments and being exposed to technologies and artificial intelligence all over the world. And there's a one common theme. We're trying to solve a problem. We need to free ourselves. Free ourselves to become more human again. But yet, all technologies are built on narrow artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has been, in the past 60 years, been able to wipe out over 200,000 years of human innovation, uh, hu sorry, of human brain evolution. And it might eventually get closer to us and become thinking like a human. It might. But as the machines get smarter, we get smarter as well. AI can be a force of good. Yes, some will lose their jobs. There was a statistics in Forbes, seven million people in the US lost their jobs in manufacturing. However, 53 million jobs, additional million jobs were created. And this makes us think different. Let's go back in time, 150 years back, when people used to ride horses. There were saddlers and there were farers. As the fourth, sorry, as the Industrial Revolution happened, there were additional, actually there was the car manufacturing that was introduced, additional jobs were created, and humans needed to upskill themselves. So the farers, started to design bodies for the car. The upholstery, sorry, the um, saddlers built upholstery for the car, steering wheel, but additional jobs were created. Designers, mechanics, and now we're talking about autonomous driving, so programmers, and et cetera, et cetera. So all these jobs are being created, and they will continue to be created. The ultimate dream is you need to know, to know programming, but you need to always be in touch with your human self. Today, doctors use artificial intelligence to search the web and to search vast database to diagnose a disease. While it needs maybe hundreds of doctors to come up with one opinion, today you can have the machine do it for you. Of course, I love that because the doctors can actually diagnose things better, faster, better. They have access to millions of databases around the world with similar symptoms. That's what we can use artificial intelligence for. And the doctor can focus on the human element and the touch of being human. We are today facing an inflection point. We can continue to be in denial that machines should not take over the world. We can continue to be in fear or to live in fear by saying things, our jobs are going to vanish and they're going to go away and machines are going to take over. Or we can embrace it, upskill ourselves, and continue to focus on human AI. We need to simply focus on being human again. Thank you.